If we don't fix the structural budget deficit, we can't fix any of our other problems. Just two weeks into his term as governor, the administration of John Bell Edwards is facing a much more daunting financial situation than they originally thought. Uh, because of the severity of, of the problem, I think those cuts are going to be a little bit deeper than we had hoped they would be, in, in particularly in the short term in the current fiscal year since we only have three months. Facing an $800 million deficit that must be addressed in the next three months, the Edwards administration has proposed a plan that would combine cuts and raising taxes. Commissioner of Administration Jay Darden says these measures are necessary. This is not um, chicken little and this is not uh, a problem we'll easily get over and it'll all work out. This is uh, very serious and the bills are coming due, the money has run out and we've got to take some drastic steps to raise revenue and to make cuts to get through this fiscal year. In a letter to higher education leaders across the state, Darden warned of the possible severity if the legislature does not pass the Edwards plan. Colleges across the state would need to cut $131 million, $63 million of which would come from right here on the LSU campus. I can tell you it's going to be lots, uh, hundreds of perhaps thousands of layoffs across the state. Uh, it's going to be massive reductions in our medical services. Students will not have the classes that they need to graduate all the time. Governor Edwards will call a special session of the legislature for February 14th, sending newly elected legislators his budget proposal as a valentine. With a Democrat in the mansion and the GOP controlling the legislature, some experts expect a showdown. But Darden is optimistic that the Edwards plan will pass. If we're able to raise revenue, then we're not going to have to impose that degree of cuts on higher education or anybody else. There are going to be some reductions in statutory dedications, um, but that $131 million request of higher ed was if the funds are not raised, uh, as the governor's proposed, and we face a worst-case scenario. So we're hoping we won't be in that situation. We just wanted people to prepare in case we get there.